I'll be the first one to say it. I just want it now. I am probably the most impatient person. Have you ever been in the store and seen that kid that keeps bugging their parent for that toy? They start by seeing the toy and expressing how much they love that toy or how amazing that toy is. As if the parent wouldn't know the importance of the toy. Then comes the question, can I please have that toy? The parent, for some reason, is hesitant to get the toy. Maybe they don't need the toy. Maybe they don't have the money right now. Or maybe they know the kid will just get bored of the toy within seconds. Either way, the parent knows and has a reason as to why the child does not need the toy. Then it comes, the slow build of whining. It may start with a very long, drawn-out please, then soon followed by forced tears. And finally, the full-blown screaming, to which you are the witness. There's a handful of reactions we can have to this. I usually just have secondhand embarrassment. I'd like to say that I have gladly grown out that phase of life. Am I kicking and screaming when I don't get my way? Unfortunately, I feel like that's a reality. Okay, I'm not saying that I'm kicking and screaming like that little kid. No, but aren't we that way with God? I'll be the first one to admit it. I will think of something that I want or think would be amazing and begin to pray and beg God for that thing. That thing isn't something that's necessarily bad. It's probably even something that God enjoys and gives to people often. Though it may be good, there's a reason that I can't have it. Just like the parent knew that the kid didn't need that toy, God knows exactly what I need. Matthew 6, 31-34 so don't worry about these things, saying, what will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. But your heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's troubles is enough for today. I'm challenged by this. Even as someone who has been following Jesus for a good amount of time now and has read these verses many times. Think about it. What is something that you've been begging God for? I'm not saying that what you or I want is bad. The things listed in those verses are not bad. But if we're honest with ourselves, we are still like that little kid, just begging our parents for that toy. Philippians 4, 6 through 7, don't worry about anything, instead pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. These verses are what I will choose. Yes, I will still pray and ask Jesus for everything. But if the answer is no, I will still praise him. I will understand and believe that he knows best. He is my father and can see more than I do. He knows more than me, so I will trust that he knows best and will take care of me no matter what. In Jesus' name, amen.